Eyewitnesses say one attacker opened fire in the departure hall with an automatic rifle sending passengers diving for cover and trying to flee. Police fired shots to try to stop two of the attackers just before they reached a security checkpoint at the arrivals hall, but they detonated their explosives, a Turkish official said. The attack on Europe's third busiest airport was one of the deadliest in a series of suicide bombings in Turkey, which is part of the U.S.-led coalition against Islamic State and is struggling to contain the spillover from neighboring Syria's civil war. It is also battling an insurgency by Kurdish militants in its largely Kurdish southeast. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan called for an international joint fight against terror after the attack, the fourth deadly bombing in Istanbul this year alone. No group has claimed responsibility for the attack, which started around 9.50 p.m. local time or 4.50 a.m. PNG time. The attack bore similarities to a suicide bombing by Islamic State militants at Brussels airport in March that killed 16 people. A coordinated attack also targeted a rush hour metro train, killing a further 16 people in the Belgian capital. Istanbul, a major tourism hub that is home to some 15 million people, has suffered a series of attacks in recent months. Located just outside Turkey's biggest city, Ataturk Airport served more than 60 million passengers in 2015, making it one of the busiest airports in the world. Turkey has been hit by at least five attacks blamed on IS jihadists, including a blast in Ankara in October 2015 that left over 100 dead, though the group has never formally claimed responsibility for the attack in Turkey. Lorraine Gabina, MTV World News.